Hey there, my E3 peeps. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Amy's Anecdotes. Today, our question is going to be, should I put references on my resume? Last night, I was having a great conversation with one of my clients when we were meeting, and one of the things she's walking through at the moment is updating her resume. Resumes are living documents that you should regularly put on your calendar to update. Why do you wanna do that? You wanna do that because when we're put into a corner, we often downplay or forget about our accomplishments and achievements. Putting it on your calendar on a regular basis allows you to be mindful and update those things when there's no pressure. So that is one of the initiatives that she and I are working on together. So last night we were walking through a review and I noticed a new section on her resume. And at the bottom, it had references, three professional references. So we engaged in dialogue on why she made that choice. She has become a hiring manager in the last couple of years and has developed the thought process that individuals who put references on their resume don't have as much to hide. They're willing to put it right out there. So then our conversation evolved into whether or not she ever checks out folks on social media before she makes that phone call. The answer was yes. So that becomes a challenge in the fact that not only are you being judged as an individual, as a person, based on a piece of paper or an electronic document, um, your social media presence, what has been captured about you, but now you are being judged or characterized by those individuals that you've picked as professional references. That's not great if you don't have a personal relationship with them. You may not know that um, what they have on their TikTok, on their Facebook, on their Instagram, because you have a professional, not a professional personal relationship. So you are putting your hands into other people's worlds before even having a conversation with that hiring manager. So my short and sweet answer to that is no, don't put anything forth that you don't need to because you want to control the interview process and selection process on your terms. Always remember interviews are not just about the company. They are about you as well. You are interviewing just as much as they are. So short and sweet, unless it's a requirement of the application process, I encourage you not to um, put your references on there. I don't know if it's right or wrong that hiring managers are doing social media searches, but I know that it's happening. So save yourself the time. If you need help um, with your resume or other job search strategies, always feel free to reach out to me at um, amy at e3coachingstudio.com, www e3coachingstudio.com or find me on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thanks. Take care.